Yo, what is going on YouTube, man? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for hitting play on this video today, man. Today, we're checking out the animals. It's my life. All right, thank you guys for hitting that play today. We're going to go ahead and dive into this one. Been a little bit since we've heard Eric Burden or the animals by now. Uh, so we're going to see what they're rocking with right here, man. It's my life. Okay, we haven't heard this one before, but as I was looking for a song to react to, this was one that was pretty high up there. So we're going to check it out today. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out the description. If you guys enjoy rocking with me on this channel, man, let's hit play, see what's going on. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you, and welcome to Hullabaloo. You know, when I was first asked to host the Hullabaloo a few weeks ago, I decided to do a little research on my own. So just the other day, I read a particularly interesting thesis on current music. Listen to this. No simple formula seems to exist. What can be discerned is a grand simplification in the way accord sequences and melodic development. Isn't that interesting? No? It's not interesting? <laughs> well, maybe this is more interesting. How do you like this? This is the animals doing their first, first time any place, singing their brand new record, It's My Life, The Animals. on television so um let's listen to the animals saying we'll be right back with dion warwick joe and eddie and the gentries go ahead fellas tell them <laughs> ridiculous all right so that's what we got with the animals it's my life like i said i couldn't tell personally if this was live or not if you guys want to fill me in on that man maybe um that's just what the studio version sounded like at this time i don't know 
tricked me it could be live because the the vocals sound like at points they were like far farther away from the mic they got closer and it was kind of what he was doing there on stage so maybe he just acted it really well i know people love to learn uh you know the lip syncing because they had to do it a lot during this time was lip syncing the the tv shows and stuff were afraid of them messing up is what i've been hearing uh so to eliminate any chance of fault it was like hey we're just gonna have a pre-recorded track rolling and you're gonna sing lip sync and pretend to play and stuff like that so that's what we got with this one right here man it's my life i like the chorus part it's my life and i'll do what i want it's my mind i'll think what i want a uh, very bold right very you say bold but really that's how it is for uh human beings is like hey sometimes you have to fight to just be able to be who you are because who you are isn't destructive to anything else but some people would just want to be so restrictive governments uh society whatever the case is so restrictive on who you can be and how you can express yourself and it's like hey if i'm not harming anyone else man i'm gonna do me i'm gonna do what i want like you're not gonna keep me in this ball and i support that right i support that as a human being man i think it's right you guys know my one rule man don't hurt innocent people and things don't be out there with the intent to destroy and harm other people and you should be all right man that's just like a universal uh thing for me right i think we should be all right uh but that's just my take man i know a lot of people think differently that's my take let's learn a little bit about the animals it's my life all right so we've got the animals it's my life right here man uh released in 1965 is this song and the songwriters on this one is roger atkins and carl de arecchio arecchio something like that <laughs> i can't pronounce it that well but not it's not Eric Burden on this one. So It's My Life is a song written by the New York City songwriters Roger and Carl. The song was originally performed by English R&B band The Animals. Interesting they would say English R&B band right here. Not how I think of The Animals as an R&B band, but I don't know. Uh, who released it as a single in October 1965. The song became a hit in several countries and has since been recorded by multiple artists all right uh mr carl who wrote the music and atkins who wrote the lyrics were professional songwriters associated with the greater bill brill building scene in new york city by 1965 they were working for screen gems music but had only found minor success at best it's my life was written specifically for the animals because their producer mickey most was soliciting material for the group's next recording sessions other animal hits uh, come out of this Brill building call where we got to get out of this place and don't bring me down. I don't think I've heard don't bring me down yet from them. Have heard uh, we got to get out of this place. It's my life has become Carl and Atkins best known work. So lyrics go on to say it's a hard world to get a break in. All the good things have been taken. But girl, there are ways to make certain things pay. Though I'm dressed in these rags, I'll wear sable someday. Hey, but baby, remember, it's my life and I'll do what I want. It's my mind and I'll think what I want. Love the lyrics, man. I can imagine for that time, uh, these these had to be rather, uh, I don't know, you would think they might be a little controversial because they're just so like, you know, I'm going to be me. I'm going to be me, you know, and... I don't know. I don't know how society was at that time, but I feel like these are going to be a little bit different. Goes on to say that Roger says one of the lines in the song that says, sure, I'll do. Uh, no, actually, he wanted this, the lyrics to say, and he wrote them down this way. Sure, I'll do wrong, hurt you sometime. But that Mr. Uh, Burden read them, show me I'm wrong, hurt me sometime. So that was a change that wasn't meant to be uh, the way it was. It says, uh, Burden's words never made any sense to me. Everyone who's recorded it sings the wrong chorus and sometimes even the wrong lyrics in the verses too. All right, there you go with that one, man. Well, I appreciated it. Like the song, man. I don't know. You guys got to let me know if this version sounded any different than the studio. And if the studio is more clear and worth a dive into at a later point, let me know on that. I greatly appreciate it. Enjoyed it, though. I like the subject matter a lot. I do. So appreciate you guys rocking out with me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the description. Consider becoming a member here on my YouTube or Patreon for as little as three bucks. Dope way to support me. Let me know more from the animals or Mr. Eric Burden. We need to dive into. I greatly appreciate that. And I'll see you on the next one. All right. Peace.